Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 Voltage 4175 Toy Hauler 5th Wheel by Dutchman RV. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the RV, then we're going to bring you back to the outside, show you all around, and then we'll close her all up and show you what it looks like closed. We will be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this brand new 2021 Dutchman Voltage 4175 triple slide toy hauler fifth wheel here. We're gonna go around the inside and then we're gonna head back onto the outside here. Really, really beautiful setup here. Over here on the right, you have a slide out system here, which is an electric slide has the Thomas Paine furniture, which is a theater seat with heat and massage, along with little lighted cup holders and the LED lighting on the bottom. Nice big windows in that slide do have the pull down roller shades on them as well. You have some cabinet area down below here, along with some overhead cabinets and a pretty good sized pantry area right there, which has some overhead cabinets as well. well back here is gonna be your 18 cubic foot Norcold refrigerator. This is currently the biggest gas and electric refrigerator offered in the RV industry right now. got quality heavy duty solid surface kitchen countertops along with the high rise spring faucet and a large single undermount stainless sink. Now one of the newest features added to the RV since the last voltage I had done is going to be this brand new insignia oven. Some other manufacturer have been using it in some high end luxury toy haulers uh, or high end luxury uh, fifth wheels in general. But uh, this has now made it into the Dutchman as well. Really big oven, four burner gas stove top, light built in along with the LED knobs. And then you have the four drawers on the left and some storage on the right as well. Overhead up above, you have a convection microwave so you can cook or microwave. You have a little wine holder on the right and then some more overhead cabinetry. Over to the left here, you have some more overhead cabinets, but also the TV goes down into the lower counter, which just kind of gives you more counter space if needed and you're not wanting to watch TV. But also there's a window back there just kind of looking out over your campsite. 40 inch Furion electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy space heater, but it's pretty cool looking. Then you've got your Jensen stereo system, and these are also Jensen TVs as well, which are specifically made for RVs like this. They're just a little bit more rugged than the traditional home style. Looking straight ahead, you do have, again, some more overhead cabinets, and you also have, again, another theater seat with heat and massage. You can sit five people in here pretty comfortably. It's great for a rainy day if you need to be inside, can't be out having a good time. You could kick back, relax in here, and watch a movie. You do have ducted air conditioning systems. The unit comes standard with three ACs on it. Turbo exhaust fan up there as well and you have Polk audio speakers in the unit. Down below here is the electric box with your breakers and fuses. Behind this cabinet door here is also your generator start stop information there as well, along with the 12 volt tank heaters. And then you have your in-command controls here as well. Really nice feature here for controlling parts of the RV.
little window going up your hallway area here to the bedroom. Now to the left, we have our bathroom area here. We'll pop up a couple pictures here so you can see this a little easier. But you have a sliding pocket door here instead of a swing door. There's three drawers and a cabinet down below. Decent amount of counter space in here as well, along with a pretty large overhead uh, mirror there. Little fan area, skylight above the shower, air conditioning and heat both in here, one piece fiberglass shower with the adjustable shower bar, triple sliding glass uh, enclosure there, and quite a bit of towel and washcloth holding area there little linen area and another sliding door going into the bedroom area here as well you have a camper king bed now this bed does raise up so there is storage you can also see a little table down there which goes back to the garage area or you can set it up in front of one of the couches Now you have some storage overhead, along with a little uh, nightstand and storage on the left side there. Now you have a slide out on this side, which does have hanging closet on the left, some shelf space on the right, and a couple pull out drawers as well. Now there is TV hookups for a small TV if you wanted to do a small TV up here in the bedroom, but it is right there above the window on the ceiling area. You have a large window here overlooking your campsite area. There's USB charger ports over there above that nightstand as well. There's a decent amount of room to maneuver around the bedroom. And then you have your traditional swing door here to kind of get you in and out of the bedroom as well. Now going back toward the garage area, you have a loft up top there. So again, you could have someone sleep up here if you wanted to. Now I like this as well. This gives you a glass door going back into the garage and it's a pretty good size swing door. It's nice and wide, but it just makes the RV feel a little bit bigger. You can see back through here. And if you have kids or guests, there is room back here for people to sleep as well. You have a bed up top, which does come down. I have it penned up out of the way at the moment. And a little dinette seating area here, which will also again make into a bed. Also kind of like their little seating area as well. It does have little cup holders built in there. That little section flips up and down. I'm gonna walk back here onto the porch section and turn around for you guys so you can see this area. Now this was ordered with the three season door option. I have the one on the right kind of swung open so you can kind of see what that looks like. But this is a sliding glass door area here. So screen or glass, whichever you want to use, uh, which basically just kind of helps keep the heat and air in, but allows you to put this patio down and kind of slide those doors open and closed without losing all of your air conditioning. A pretty cool little feature. Quite a few D rings in the floor to hold down your toys. You also have a little bit of what they refer to as kind of a beaver tail. The lower section of it slopes, so it's easier transition getting your vehicles in and out. 
Now up top there, you've got a cabinet on the left and right, and then you also have a flat screen Jensen TV up there as well. There's washer dryer hookups. So if you wanted to do a washer dryer back here, you could. You also have a little bathroom here on the left. Now this brown portion, door portion, actually will fold back against the wall out of the way, giving you more garage space. Now if you do the washer dryer, um, the door, the bathroom door doesn't swing open as functionally. You have to actually unlatch it and kind of pull straight back so that you don't hit the bathroom or the washer dryer kind of setup. So it, it is usable, but it is it has to be opened a little bit differently if you have the washer dryer in there. And they do a little LED light strip down there as well. Good size windows back here, and these do open. You even have a little electric outlet back there on the wall right there. And more electric outlets up there by the TV as well, in case you wanted to plug in and mount a DVD player or something like that there. Spin around here one more time, just kind of show you this garage. We're gonna to head to the outside of the RV, show you all around that section. Then we're gonna close up these slides and show you that as well. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Dutchman Voltage 4175 toy hauler here. And as you can see, we're starting here in the front section. You have a nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap. The cap has a nice LED uh, light strip across the front and then a couple little V strips on each side. Just kind of helps really give it a little extra decoration, but brighten it up at nighttime. Makes it a little easier to find your camper when you're driving back in after a long day out exploring. Um, down below here, you have a LED light just directly above the hitch as well. And a little reflective mirror there to kind of help, again, trying to hook up. The unit comes with a Rotoflex Trail Air pin box here that you're seeing. So it does have a little bit of an upgraded rubber suspension built in. Down below, you can see the Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. There's a couple batteries along with your battery disconnect and also the hydraulic reservoir as well back in there. And that hydraulic reservoir uh, basically helps power the six point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system that is standard on the unit. So you push a button, the thing will auto level. You can also manually do it too, but you know, it's kind of nice just to have the auto level setup. The hydraulic version is stronger, faster, and a little more reliable. In this front compartment right here, you have one of your 30 pound propane tanks. The second compartment popping up there is pass through storage. And also you'll see the in command center control box right there. Really nice electric system for an RV. And it's all color coded, has some little relays and stuff there. Just a really nice upgrade. Uh, definitely like that over most traditional RV systems. The more ride step above here, which is a nice heavy duty feature, holds up to 500 pounds. So it is stronger than particularly the back style steps you'll see when we get back there. But they do flip inside the door and you have to have enough room to obviously get them out if you're at a storage area. That's the only real complaint I usually get about that part is you do have to have room to get them out where you could just jump up in the old style uh, doorways without having to put steps down but you know each to their own here you have the uh, little gas line hook up there as well so you could do a small outside grill large folding entry handle and also an electric outlet here you'll also see the advertisement sticker about the three-year structural warranty on the rv uh, that is a nice feature to have not all rvs have that some manufacturers still only do a one-year warranty. Here you have Polk audio speakers outside. You also seen the speakers inside, but really nice. You've got a nice little setup out here with another big flat screen TV. Triple axle, 7,000 pound axles. We'll get to the tire size and all that stuff there toward the end, but it also has the upgraded uh, More Ride 3000 suspension system, kind of acts as a shock absorber for RVs. 
The two black panels there, access panels for maintenance and venting of that large 18 cubic foot refrigerator you seen when we were inside. Back on the back, you have a traditional RV hover step. Now these type of steps are only rated for 300 pounds, but it does have a quad entrance step going in and out with the aluminum tread plate, so a little bit nicer step. Now the reason for doing that type of step back here is so that when you flip the step in, it does not take up garage space. Two big awnings on the RV that you can see here going down the side. They're both tiltable for water runoff and adjustable power push button awnings and also they have LED light strips built in as well. Now this also has the back porch setup. Now their back porch setup has changed a little bit over the year. Um, you now have legs to support the bottom door and you also have cables but they made the back porch to where the steps come out the side instead of out the back. And when you do steps out the side, the cable obviously gets in the way, so you have to remove that cable and rely on the foot. You could still keep the cable and the other foot on the other side if you want to, um, but you have to remove the cable to functionally get in and out of the step carefully. And up top, you also have another power awning up there that you're seeing so you push a button that goes in and out now here from this side you can also see there's a couple LED lights up there for docking and even just a little night light kind of deal uh, and this one was also pre-wired for backup camera and this customer actually chose to do the observation camera as well that you've seen earlier ladder on the back of the RV here basically just kind of folds in and out a little bit giving you room to climb up and down there the ladder is rated for 250 pounds but a nice little feature there to climb up on and just kind of inspect things and check them out down below here you have two fuel tanks along with your gas meter telling you what's kind of going on fuel wise also to the left of that is your fuel pump with your little gas pump Coming on around this direction here, you have your black tank flush hookup right here. Now down below the slide out, just in front of that jack, is your dump area. So it's best to hook up your dump hose before you open the slide if you can. And there's also one of the pull handles right there as well. I really like the deep tent safety glass frameless windows. Just seems to give it a little bit cleaner, sleeker look. Your power cord is right here, 50 amp electric power cord, detachable. And then also you have a 10 gallon gas and electric water heater as well. Just down below, you see the little white and red lines hanging down there. Those are low point water drains. Just to the left of that is your generator exhaust. Now in this storage compartment here, you're gonna see your docking station. So you got a lot of cool hookup features there. And then just to the left of that is also your main jack control. Behind this door is the other 30 pound propane tank and the main regulator, which allows you to choose which bottle you wanna use is also located in this side. Now, kind of looking down the overall side, you can see a nice white fiberglass exterior with a black lower metal. Really nice heavy-duty vinyl graphic system on the RV as well. Really cool shape again to that front cap, nice and sloped. It gives you a little better turning radius and more aerodynamics as well. Now, you're going to also see pop up here your gross vehicle weight sticker, your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, along with your tire sticker as well. Now we are going to head back inside, close it up and show you what it looks like closed. All right guys, we're now back inside the RV here and I wanted to show you these slide outs real quick, just kind of give you an idea how they work. And again, this is all done by your little in command center here. 
And basically we're going to start with the sofa slide. So we push a button, it's an electric slide. Comes in basically real close to that island section right there. Again, guys, don't forget to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They're one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Now we're going to do the kitchen slide over here. And you can let off the button if you need to and stop. So if you just wanted to bump the room out part of the way or part of the way in, you know, just so you can kind of check on things and do things, you can do so. It just comes right on in. So when you do close it up, you can get back here to parts of the RV. Now, obviously, you could come in the back door if you need to to get to the refrigerator. You could squeeze through here if you're a smaller person, but uh, back door is a little easier for me. Now, up in the bedroom area, you're going to have, again, that wardrobe slide that goes in and out. Um, we'll try to see what we can see from here, but that does have to be controlled from this section down here. So you can kind of see it moving in right there. That basically just comes in and butts up against the bed. But you can still come in here and use the bedroom area if you need to. But when it comes in, it kind of pushes the king bed over toward the wall a little bit. But still, functional bedroom. Completely functional bathroom. And partially functional kitchen and a living room area. And you can kind of get an idea there what that looks like. Again, guys, thanks for checking out the videos. Appreciate it.